Hello guys, my name is Balkrishna Shivastava and welcome to Code with GK. So in this video we write Java code solution for question 7 of IEC 2025 Computer Science Boards Specimen Paper. So before we begin it is a request to please, please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers only 3 to 5 are subscribed. More than 95% of my audience is not subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So we have to write the solution for question 7 and this was, this is basically question 7 for IC 2025 computer science specimen paper. Take a minute and give this a reading. Okay. So I have taken this question from the ICSC ISC website and you can find the sample specimen paper there. So in short you have to create a class that can hold an integer array. So if these are the elements of integer array in object A say and these are the elements of the integer array in object B then you should be able to create an object mix which contains the first three elements of the first array and the first three elements of the next array. Okay, so 78, 90, 100 and then 1067, 200. Okay, so let me just write this class mix array class mix array. Okay, data members are ARR and cap. So private int ARR. Okay, and private int cap. Okay, and uh, since these are data members, I'm going to keep them private. You should also keep them private because conventionally we always have data members private in Java. Okay. Then we create member functions and methods that these are all going to be public. So the constructor is public mix array. Okay, int mm. Okay. Right, mix array has lowercase a. You need to keep that in mind. Right, make sure that you follow all the names properly that are given in the question into your code. Okay, so you have to initialize the capacity. So you say cap is mm. But you will also have to create an array. Okay. Of this cap size because by default this array is going to be null. We will have to allocate memory to this which we do it in the constructor. The next is input which is supposed to read elements into the array so public void input. Okay I am going to print a prompt message enter how many elements cap plus integers. Okay and then I run a for loop i is less than cap i plus plus okay we need a scanner object to read from the user so scanner equal to new scanner okay and in each iteration we read an integer and put it in the ith location of the array so i say uh, scanner dot next print all right this is your input method then we have this mix array mix so public mix array mix that takes two mix array objects p and q okay so the requirements is the resultant array having first three elements of p and then q return into another mix array object okay so you have to do something like this create a mix array object so i say mix array say m is new mix array and what is going to be the capacity of this mix array first three elements plus first three elements or total of six six and then you return okay in between you have to add first three integers from p and add first three integers from q all right so for int i equal to 0, 3, i plus plus, we say the array in a r uh, in m we can take index starting from 0. The indices of arr in m are set to the first three elements of p, so p dot arr. Similarly, q dot arr. Okay. First elements of P, first elements of Q. Alright, then we move on to the last function which is to display. So, public void display. Alright, display with an appropriate message. So, sys out, I'll say, okay, I'll say, 
okay then for each integer in this ar print this is out this is a for each loop so i press finally close the brackets and change a line this is a for each loop the variable i takes each of the elements in this array arr once in each iteration which are we which we are printing okay so our class is done okay we have to create objects and call methods so the main function all right so since i'm going to use this very example so the my size of p is going to be 5 and size of q is going to be 4 so i'm going to pass 5 in the constructor of p 4 in the constructor of q so create p and q all right so a uh, mix array p equals new mix array 5 okay and similarly mix array q is 4 then we have to read elements into this so read input so p dot input and q dot input and then finally display okay so i'm going to say this out print p equal to and call p dot display right similarly i'll do with q q okay and m but before that i have to create the mix mix so i can create the mix here okay mix array m is you can use mix function of either p or q object so because this is a non static function so you you need an object to assess this function so you can either call p dot mix or q dot mix so you can say p dot mix p q okay or q dot mix okay all right okay then uh we will display p q and or you can say mix is m dot display okay okay let us run this all right 78 90 so these are the elements of p these are the elements of q and the mix should contain first three and the next three so p is this okay these elements then we have q okay and then mix is 78 90 100 then 1067 200 nice okay we just have to change a line here okay i think this again five integers say one two three four five then 10 20 30 and 40. so one two three from the first one and then 10 20 30. one more case say maybe uh minus 9 3 45 7 89 198 3 5 these three and then the next three okay all right so this was the solution to question 7 of ic 2025 computer science board specimen paper so i hope you like this video and this was helpful so if there is any doubt, there is a part you do not understand, please let me know in the comments. I always try to answer all the comments. And you can also, also let me know in the comments if there is a question you want to solve or if there is a concept you want to discuss. So please like this video, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.